Why buy an LCR meter mm -hmm. when your multimeter can already measure capacitance? The reason's simple. Let's test it hands-on. First, grab an old capacitor. We'll start with the multimeter. It shows 434.2 microfarads. The capacitor's rated value is 470 microfarads. Now measure it with a handheld LCR meter, about 416.7 microfarads. That's quite a big difference. So the result looks a bit higher. Don't rush to conclusions yet. Let's try a new capacitor. Multimeter shows 126.1 microfarads. LCR meter reads 104.2 microfarads. This time, they're closer. So why is there a difference? That's because they work on different principles. An LCR meter can measure the D value of a capacitor. Its readings reflect the capacitor's actual working state. A multimeter only shows its charge storing ability, but can't distinguish the reactance and the loss. Also, their accuracy is different. The LCR meter is more precise. Here's the key point. The extra parameters on the LCR meter help you judge component quality. For example, D value represents dissipation factor. It directly reflects energy loss. The smaller the D value, the lower the loss. Switch to ESR parameter. ESR stands for equivalent series resistance. The smaller, the better. In this test, this reading means the capacitor is fine. For capacitors, D, Q, phase angle and ESR are all selectable. Secondary parameters. Besides capacitors, a handheld LCR meter can also measure resistance and inductance and tell if they're good or bad. It's more accurate overall and in daily use. It's great as a companion to your multimeter. Now you know why an LCR meter is worth having.